Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 30th, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun, as we are reporting an X-class solar flare, a minor X-class solar flare, just recently. And over the past 48 hours, we've seen multiple solar flares from outgoing sunspot region and from backside. There's lots of activity on the backside of the sun right now. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, still watching on that left side, which is the southern region, plasma filament. You can see the other one roping around on the right side. Looking at the last about 48 hours outgoing, this is where we see an M-class solar flare from that bright fiery region. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. You can see that most recent flare from incoming region and as well coronal holes. Departing now, expecting incoming coronal hole wind stream and elongated stream there creating, creating on the sun. Having a look at 171 angstroms, some amazing images here. You can see our heliosphere in action, all those plasma loops and four sunspot regions turning away. Other than that, there is not much on the surface of our sun right now to look at. Those are the only sunspot regions, but you can see on right hand side there, those are some pretty active sunspots. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2, moderate radio blackout impacts expected from the most recent X-class solar flare. As you can see here, solar winds are coming in at 430 kilometers per second. That's still above normal solar X-ray flux, showing there the minor X-class solar flare and yesterday's four M-class solar flares. Proton flux is coming down. Geomagnetic activity has been low as we haven't been going through any solar storms. But we are expected some energy here coming in 30th into the 31st, which is tonight and into tomorrow. Minor ge geomagnetic instability and auroras may be seen across Canada. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent CME taking off outgoing position this is still the same one from yesterday so no major new cme events to talk about and that's visible here with the lasco 3 coronagraph wide spectrum only region that's been active is the southern parts and as well outgoing sunspot regions and now incoming so stay tuned. We'll see how these new sunspots react. Let's, let's have a look at earthquakes. The largest being the last 24 hours, 5.8 earthquake struck Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands, Alaska. Minor seismicity up into Anchorage and as well Hawaii. Tonga region seeing a 5.3 and a 5.1. Deepest through the region was about 145 kilometer depth. Deepest the past 24 hours, being here, 326 kilometer depth, Indonesia, Gorontolo. Banda Sea has been a very active hotspot as of late. 4.0 magnitude earthquake there, Indian Plate up into Afghanistan. And as well, Georgia reporting a 4.7 magnitude earthquake today, and Turkey, 4.8. South America, not too much to talk about. Those are all yesterday's earthquakes. One of those is from today. Nazca Plate, 4.7 and a 5.1 up into the Cocos Plate around the Galapagos Islands where the active Fernandina volcano has been erupting. North American soil, 3.0 magnitude earthquake here. Maple Ridge, Ohio, many felt reports there. But across there, and California, no major swarms to talk about right now. 
and nothing particular to point out. 190 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, so things have quieted down since yesterday. But building across the Pacific Plate, and I think northeast up into Alaska, I've been saying it for the last couple weeks. So heads up, especially coming around the total solar eclipse on April 8th. Hopefully the weather can be on our side before the event. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Shakers across the planet. Notable all across the Indian Plate and up into Eurasia. And as well, notable Atlantic Ridge. Iceland volcano still erupting. No new major volcanoes to talk about that have awakened. We still have 45 that are active and or erupting. Big SO2 plumes still coming off of Peru and Mexico, Guatemala. Multiple active volcanoes through the region. And there's still lots of SO2 swirling across the northern hemisphere right now from the Iceland volcano that has been erupting since March 14th. Still observing pretty large SO2 particulate clouds forecasted here in the southern hemisphere. Not sure exactly where this came from, but it is swirling around and eventually going to re reach Tasmania, parts of New Zealand. And then again, Michael Volcano has been releasing a lot of gases over the last little while. South Sandwich Islands region, that is yet another subduction, subduction zone. Then overlooking Europe, continual eruptions at Mount Etna, but nothing major to report. And no new volcanoes. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by windy.com. These are forecast models. European for forecast models. We've got a lot of low pressure systems coming in this week. A very wet and windy week ahead. There's going to be multiple flood watches across the United Kingdom and Ireland. Especially into the long range. Look at that. You've got about 8 low pressure systems affecting you over the next 10 days. So, heads up across Europe, especially coastal regions, overlooking North America. Big low pressure system affecting eastern Canada, still dropping a lot of snow. Big system develops there for the third into the fourth, affecting Ontario. And that may or not be the last snowfall, as there is quite a few systems still coming in off the west coast there. And will be coming from the northward regions. Having a look here for April 8th. Day of the total solar eclipse. There most likely will be overcast for Ontario. Hamilton and Niagara region. That is going to be totality. So a lot of people are going to be up looking. And we might not be able to see it at all. So heads up everybody. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. We'll keep you updated. I like to share the upper level winds. Brought to you by Null School as well. Having a look here at our northern hemisphere as the polar vortex has broken down. It looks nothing like what I've been showing over the past five months with winter. It has now shifted to the southern hemisphere. Quite an amazing vortex visual here looking at the southern polar vortex for 2024. Are you ready for more? Multiple changing changes happening across our planet and I'm really thankful to have you along for this journey much love and just wait until I show you the transition here look at these trade winds observe the directions and watch how they change much love everybody stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily due happy Easter and stay safe if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.